Yo, welcome back. So we're going to be doing some more Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker non-lethal run. You know, I was going to take a break for the rest of the night, but I've really been wanting to play more of this. So let's just get right back into it, man. That last track, by the way, was Super Robot Tyson 2 Steel Beowulf. I saw the title of that in my playlist and I was like, damn, yeah, this is absolutely Snake. Completely. All right, let's leave off where, let's continue where we last left off, which is right before a huge boss. We can watch that some other time. I, I always forget like the first time I start a new game. I never watch the intro cutscene. Alright, so yeah, like I was saying, the last boss that we encountered, another cliffhanger at that, was uh, our first Metal Gear boss fight. Like, you know, the game's Metal Gear and everything, but it's our first encounter with a Metal Gear in a boss fight. So we want to go in absolutely prepared. I just want to do a quick precursory check of everything we've acquired so far. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might at some point, or maybe I'm just thinking of MGS5. This might shoot non-lethals? I'm not sure. The Mose and the Gaunt, that's right! That's what we got last time. I don't think we need the magazines just yet. They're, they're kind of interesting for recruiting people and, you know, being generally distracting, which has always been a meme in Metal Gear Solid. I Yeah, I don't think we need to optimize anything. Let's just do this. Just give me a second too, I want to adjust the volume a bit. I've noticed recently a lot of my stuff in volume mixer has turned a little too low. Like yeah, I don't want to destroy my ears, but it's kind of quiet on the stream as well, so... Hopefully that sounds a little better. Alright, yeah, we can do extra ops later, that'd be nice. But we got the pupa battle. This is, like I said in the first, or the part before this, this is one of my favorite boss battles in the game. Careful, Snake. I've never seen anything like that, and I've got no idea how to bring it down. Maybe the scientist knows. However you do it, take that thing out. So I gotta get absolutely equipped, dude. I think I'm gonna go in naked, Snake. Um, it's not really required for boss battle gear, but it's pretty efficient, usually. You don't need to hide or anything most of the time. But it lets you carry more primary weapons. Wait, no, it doesn't. Huh? Is this just lighter or something? No way, I could have swore this let you carry more, you know, at least one additional side primary equip, but maybe not. I probably want to swap out C4 for something else if I have anything else. I do have supply marker equipped. Okay, that's fine. I might be able to intercept it with some C4, just pull out some quick gamer strats. Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna need the Sonic Eye for this one. The Walkman, though. XD. Hmm, definitely more healing. See, I think the difference between the spicy curry and the tortilla chips at this point... Um, spicy curry heals double and you get less. I'm pretty sure that's the only difference. I am not going to need the analyzer either, so I'll definitely just stock up on food completely. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. The only difference, I don't need non-lethal. Like I said in a previous part, I'm not counting killing Metal Gears as non-lethal. I don't even think you can non-lethal take down them, so... I think I'm going to go with the RPG too. And what do you say, do we bring the law or we bring the M16? We could bring the M60. Oh, shit. Damn, that's tempting. Well, I'm definitely not going to bring two launchers. Uh, <laughs> I guarantee I'm going to expend all of them way too fast. <laughs> and like halfway into the boss fight, I'm going to have to send at least two supply markers. Alright, I think we're good. Let's do this. The pupa battle. That thing over there, buddy, it looks like a pupa. 
，哎呀，飘奔！哎 ，Is that a peace walker? Yeah, dude, let's fight. He looks so brutal. Actually, both of them do, but I was referring to the Metal Gear in front of Snake. You'll find out quickly why I like this so much. Oh my god. Look at him, he's going. When you drive him. I think I'm gonna adjust my movement speed just a little bit. Rotation? I think I want that at like a 9 or a 10 right now. Alright, let me test DPS a bit. Don't you dare shock me! I refuse to be stunned! Whoa, okay, that, that does some decent damage. Hold on, <laughs> I think I know why it turned down this game, because its default volume is so loud. I remember now. Okay, we good. M60 looking kinda light in Snake's hands. I don't know, maybe he's just got buff arms. Rule number eight, always lift with your M60. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I gotta aim for the AI core. I can't remember if this is optimal damage or if it's just good damage. Because there might be other segments here that do equal damage, I don't quite remember. And uh, in classic Metal Gear Solid fashion, there are many variations of this boss that appear, so... I might be getting some features mixed up with this boss. Alright, I'm gonna switch the launcher in a sec. I'm really lucky I dodged that. Holy shit. Yeah, 7k per hit. And it's a uh, AoE damage too. Get him! Yeah. Don't you dare run me over. I'll have you know I have insurance. <laughs> you don't want to pay out a crying family, do you? Uh, just barely. This attack phase is so stupid. <laughs> Here I was thinking I'm playing Dark Souls and I can dodge roll underneath it. Just straight through it. Yeah, this attack sucks. If it hits you, you barely get hurt anyway. Yeah, exactly. I'm good. I think you have to shoot the units on the floor to negate that. <laughs> See ya. Oh, good for it. I, I didn't say this last time, but I love that both Otacon and Hal Emmerich, or whatever his name is, I know there's... A couple different names in the series that look like similar people. But yeah, the same with Big Boss and Snake. Like, you got a whole two generations of people that look exactly the same. So I keep- I see this guy in the wheelchair encouraging me and I'm like, Oh god, he's gonna piss his pants. He's gonna tell me about anime. Oh, come on, that missed? I guess I was moving. Yeah, you wish, buddy. <laughs> Come and get me, buddy. Ugh. See, he ha it has all these fancy guns, but really, they're it's useless. Yeah, I like your singing, Hatsune Miku, but can you turn it down with the lethal electric explosives? <laughs> oh, I'm getting flattened. Alright, I'm just gonna land in some covering fire. I did destroy the one over here, so I, so I should be safe. Yeah, that's like one of the first times ever that I've dodged that. Both in this run, 
and in general playing this game. Yo, you got good singing, but you gotta go down. I don't care. I'm sending out covering fire. Ugh. I gotta switch to my Dorita chips. <laughs> if only I had Mountain Dew in the field of battle. That's right, this is a sponsorship for the all new Mountain Dew flavor, Mountain Dew Field of Battle. Take it with you and get free XP codes for the next World War. That's right, you get bonus experience for... Okay, that's enough with that joke. Wow, that's so impressive, bro. You're such a hard boss. <laughs> I mean, I am getting my shit slapped, but... Ugh. Wow, my psyche is really fucked. I, you know what? It's a good thing I didn't bring a extreme high accuracy weapon, because my aim reticule would be shaky as fuck otherwise. Nope. You thought? You thought? Dump ass. Whoa! <laughs> Got tail swiped. All right, chat. This monster hunter boss is going down, dude. I'm gonna do the tail cut. We're gonna get pupa armor. That's good. I think that's sufficient. But let me blow up this one too. You missed! <laughs> Tricked ya! <laughs> I should probably like preemptively heal up while I can. That's probably not enough, but whatever. At least I got my Doritos. Ah. Yeah, this is a banger, dude. Oh, hey, what's up? You come for the party? We got Doritos, we got curry, we got... Oh, sorry, it's super spicy curry. We got Mountain Dew. We got Gremlin Diva. She's eating all of those things that aforementioned in the corner. Can't get me. <laughs> I, I didn't know this was a thing you could do. I've just been doing it for fun, and... The pupa just permanently misses, I guess. And I'm an expert top sniper for the United States Army. Hold on, let me reload, bro. <laughs> I really didn't expect that, like, turn on a dime shit right there. Well, it's HP is getting chipped down, so that tells me I'm doing a good enough job. The healing really doesn't matter, dude. I refuse! Yeah, this is just a field test. Thanks for demonstrating with your whole ass life that you can fight this machine beast monster. Which I have wrought upon the universe. <laughs> oh my god. Now that I think about it... The pupa does kind of look like a weird-ass Dalek. Like, if you consider the AI core up here... ...to be its Dalek gun stock... abso fucking lootly they look similar. Ugh! Oh no, it's back to that one Metal Gear Solid 3 minigame! Or you gotta spin the stick, otherwise you get zapped to death. Fun fact about that, by the way. Did you know... Hold on, can you fuck off for a second? Did you know that that minigame from Metal Gear Solid 3 where you get zapped a million times? The difficulty is dependent on how hard you're trying. So if you don't try at all, it's the easiest possible puzzle. I didn't fucking know that. Okay, I just had to reset the internet really quick. Again. Yo, this track's a banger, though. Kinda glad I didn't bring the Walkman. Although, dude, that would've been a waste of inventory if I did. Alright. Now that I've had my real talk with Chad, it's time to take this sucker down. Hunker down. Oh yeah, I think I'm down to clown. 
around this town. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> I've been wanting to do another stupid ass rap joke, so I'm glad I belted that one out. Yeah, that's my new freestyle. I call it Bren style. <laughs> yeah, it's a new genre of music. Uh, don't be intimidated or anything. Like, you can totally do it yourself, too. Yeah, it's like my own genre that I came up with, you know? It's like it's like Hatsune Miku Vocaloid vocals, but it's also like a little bit of like synth wavy like... Okay. <laughs> I'm like wasting HP and making this stupid meme, but... Ow! Watch where you're fucking driving, dude! I got insurance, you know! You're gonna have to pay for those broken... Entire ass legs. <laughs> I actually see where it hit me, but it, the way I was flung up into the air, it really looked like my lower torso was just clipped in half. Everything's broken. I'm a glass man now because of you. Oh, yeah? God damn it. I'm not gonna have enough HP if this shit keeps happening. Okay, I gotta do- Fuck! No! <laughs> I was gonna say, I gotta do it. I gotta set down a supply marker. Because I knew I'd get rations from that. <laughs> and of course, in that one moment, I was zapped to death. Hey, we back on OBS and on Twitch. Nice. You guys didn't miss much. Okay, well now I know where the safe spot is, which is nice. Can you stop, like, fucking Tony Hawking? This is not your personal half-pipe, asshole. I paid for this place. This is not a public building. No. You thought. You thought? What do you mean when it charges? What do you mean, life flat? Damn, right as I started going full auto, too. Panic reload! <laughs> Couldn't get a good zoom in there. Here, scare snake! Scare him real quick for me, please! Yeah, yeah! I'm a fucking genius! Yeah! I think with this one, you just want to do a bit of... Elongated burst fire, I suppose. So we'll just let it sink hits in. And then just adjust by releasing the trigger. I think that's a pretty good strat here for the AI core, at least. I don't know why anyone would do this the, the first time by taking out, like, uh, you know, the treads or something. But, hey, more power to you, challenge run, bro. What does that word mean? Dr. Hal in Emmerich? What are you gonna hit at that distance? Huh? I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer! Yeah, there was a little bit of hull damage. I guess, like, uh... You could probably do a whole ass run of this first version of this boss fight. Just completely doing hull damage. But good god, would it take a long time. Stop! That move is so cheap. Oh, you know why I couldn't get up right away? I ran out of Psyche, that's what the fuck happened. Oh, I'm sure. I can hear it. Hold on. Uh, it's in the distance. Where can it be? Uh. Oh, I totally missed it. <laughs> Honestly, the M60 is fine for this. I don't even need rockets. Oh yeah, you think you got- You missed- You missed dick face? More like dickhead. <laughs> no. 
It seems like uh, after one rotation of turret fire from it, it goes to the shock without announcing. So I think I've got that on lock. Let me just preemptively do this because I know I'm gonna fucking need it. Wait, do I not have them equipped? Oh, here it is. It's in weapons. Place it down. What if I took a stun rod to this fucking thing? Would it still blow up? I doubt it. Yeah. That was actually kind of a waste. Oh wait, no, I only got one ration from that. Never mind. It was worth it. Wow, I gotta use a lot of those then if I get hit a fuck ton. You know what? It's rocket time. It's time for the rocket power power hour. Ooh! Damn, if I sink another six of those, it's done. That was a lucky shot, because it was headed right for me. I still can't quite figure out what you're supposed to do to go into first person. I thought it was select, but no, that's uh, codec. And you can change select, I know, but none of the options are for first person. Nice! Hey, that helps. Can I destroy the AI core, though? Oh, I still got hit, huh? Dude, nice CPU fans. You got Noctua? Thermal take? What you got up there? What what happens if I hit that? <laughs> what? Why? It doesn't even get to do it from here. <laughs> it's such a rare move in its moveset to begin with. You have to be super close to it, and I don't think it activates very often. Because it makes it vulnerable as fuck. Okay, you know what? That's fine damage. Yeah, shoot them out for me. Dumbass. Alright, it's done. Yeah, you're gonna pull out the old shock therapy, huh? Oh, I ran out of RPGs. Oh, it's getting real spooky in its speech. That was a pretty good flurry. I like it. We got this. I mean, I'm gonna switch to, like, Doritos or something. Because that's more heals. Psyche is still good, too. I guess I didn't get shocked enough this time. I'm not motivated anymore. Alright, we got this. Yeah! Alright, we only got a, l a limited amount of time here. Alright, open her up. Okay, I gotta make sure to be really articulate whenever I do this. Because, spoilers, we got something important coming up. Ah, Metal dick head. Alright, I have infiltrated the system. Now the time to hack into the Matrix. Ah. Fucking computers. Hey kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. Okay, I gotta... It's not really important this early on. This is kind of like both a puzzle and also upgrades that you can obtain. Um, see, so I don't know. As Huey says, we kind of want to optimize what we grab here, but this is also kind of uh, disabling the AI as well th that we just fought. So Snake is trying to find answers. We're also getting upgrades to make our own Metal Gear at some point. And we're pulling apart Hal. Oh, I shouldn't say Hal, because that's... <laughs> Huey and Hal Emmerich or... Hell, whatever his last name is, like... <laughs> okay, that's about all we can get. And I took it at the last second, nice. I love the music in this area, by the way. You kinda, I was talking through it, but it's... More that Hatsune, Hatsune Miku-esque stuff. Hatsune. John Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Oh, 
And it's taken off! The core was merely the pilot. The rest was just a hunk of fucking metal. Looks like a big crab or a pig or something. <laughs> ah, I can finally eat tonight. That was an unmanned weapon. A prototype. Nice. I made it myself. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I work here. Well, used to anyway. Nice haircut. My name's Huey. Huey Lewis in the news. He's got robo legs for his fucking wheelchair. You, be? you don't look like one of those mercenaries. Uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, entomologist. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fighting entomologist? <laughs> I specialize in butterflies. I'm here to catch Ulysses. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. I didn't think they lived in Costa Rica. Got a fucking expert on her hands. That's it. I need to get some before the Washington Treaty goes into effect. It says here Morphos aren't covered under the treaty. Uh, must have slipped my mind. You sure you're feeling all right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why is he such a brainiac? The butterfly got away. So how about it, Doc? Did you make that big butterfly too? Cold words. Yes. And no. It's one of these fucking things where he was forced into it or he'd piss. Something tells me you're no ordinary entomologist. Yeah, Uno reverse card. You're not a fucking normal scientist either, dick face. What is that a vape pen? He's been vaping since the sixties or the eighties. That's right. The thermonuclear warheads they brought in, the bases scattered throughout Costa Rica. What's up with his head? Okay. AI weapons, the God damn. I thought his head exploded. For, this. for that vape pen? Yeah. Blow fat dabs, dude. We use this facility to develop unmanned weapons. Unmanned. <sighs> Robots. The one you just fought was a pupa. There's also a flying type called Chrysalis and a treaded type, the cocoon. <sighs> Motor control. That's the one we just fought. Detection. We'll fight that one soon. Attack, and that one. And transport functions are all controlled by an electronic brain. There's no need the for fuck? A human pilot. Is that a big robo? Can only follow simple commands, though. Wait, it says 54 34 on it? Why? For the CIA. Robo bot they that plays football? That's who that guy was. CIA station. Cold man. America. Goes by the name of Hot Cold. <laughs> Apparently he was some sort of hero back at the height of the Cold stupid Cold. ass name. He's the one running the show. We called it the Peace Walker Project. Peace uh, They're going to deploy a new type of nuclear weapon along the Caribbean coast of Latin America. A mobile unmanned nuclear platform. Deterrence. Nuclear platform. Uh, a fail deadly system that can automatically move into position and launch a retaliatory nuclear strike. It can move on its own, and stealth shields it from radar and satellite detection, drastically reducing the risk of it being destroyed in a preemptive strike. Uh, a peace walker. Deterrent. <laughs> Fucking deterrent. The problem is the locomotion system. There's no dry season in the Caribbean. It rains all year round. The terrain is full of tropical rainforest. A lot of the time you can't even build a proper road. So you got a problem moving your metal gear? What's that? Legs. <laughs> walking power. Sit on my lap, snake. <laughs> Mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear warhead even more powerful than the Soviet RDS 220s. That's Peace Walker. Yeah, that's a fucking Metal Gear, bro. Chico's Pasalisco. Chico. We did the assembly and field testing here. A walking nuke. <laughs> I sort of yep. borrowed the original idea from behind the iron curtain. The missing link between infantry and artillery. Fucking mecha combat. <laughs> he said it. Gear. Yeah, that's a fascinating word you just came up with. But they'd actually need to deploy dozens of them. Deterrence. Oh, and to get it, he's planning a test, which will also serve as a demonstration for the folks back at Langley. Wait, he's launching a nuke to prove that his perfect deterrent works? In his words, <laughs> to prove that if someone attacks us, we will strike Yo, go back real quick. I think I saw that shit on Reddit. Nuclear deterrence is the idea of using nukes to keep nukes in check. 
Yeah, yeah, we've heard that every Metal Gear game. <laughs> Global. Thermonuclear war. Nuclear deterrence has brought us peace. At the very least, it's prevented another world war from breaking out. Accidentally hits a nuke with a hammer. Oh fuck. Exists only on paper. In reality, there's no guarantee that either side would follow through with retaliation. Isn't this just that one uh, South Park episode, bro? Strike could destroy all the missile bases, render them unable to retaliate. But the biggest <sighs> is that the decision to retaliate has to be made by human beings. Real human beings? Let me give you a real world example. Let's say country X launches first against country Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this algebra shit? Wire like you and me, they're not going to be able to retaliate knowing that they're effectively ending all human life. So then the weak link in nuclear deterrence theory is the uncertainty of retaliation. Well, just call in the foundation on this one. That creates a loophole country X can exploit to launch the first strike. Which is why we designed the system to be unmanned. With Peace Walker, retaliation is certain. Metal Gear? The appropriate target and launches a retaliatory nuclear strike every time without needing human input to make the call. Yeah, so it nukes everybody instantly. It's tantamount to pushing the launch button against yourself. <laughs> it closes the loophole in nuclear deterrence theory, rendering our friends in Country X completely unable to launch. Yeah, but then the Metal Gear blows everything the fuck up in two seconds. We need to demonstrate that retaliation will be carried out by a machine. This is the 1980s. It would be like, oh, a nuclear bomb went off anywhere? Okay, war against all countries. <laughs> Look at him. Hot cold believe him. Wow. He's so old. Why? My father worked on the men. He put his whole life <laughs> Oh uh, man, the three generations the illusion of peace called deterrence. And then I was born unable to walk. No, he's lying. He just wants to be a Metal Gear himself. Wow, that was like 0 to 60 real quick. If they do end up launching, it'll all have been for nothing. They've got to be stopped. It must not go on. To a base near the border. The final test is five days from now. Where's the base? You're gonna stop them? Where's the base? It's kind of a hike. <laughs> and besides, there's a surefire way to halt the project. What is this, Goldeneye? Peace Walker isn't quite finished yet. It never is. What do you mean? It never really is. It's missing one last critical structural component. The AI. It's brain. I don't think those are analogous, but fine. The electronic brain I was working on can only follow commands like go there, attack that. Yeah, so nuke means nuke. Compare it to the human cerebellum. <laughs> but for nuclear deterrence to work, it must function in place of a human decision maker. Yeah, that's the point. Something to analyze the huge volumes of data coming in and select an appropriate target for retaliation. I'm gonna press F4, dude. Hence, it needs the high-level decision-making ability of a cerebral. A mechanical cerebral. So make a, a fucking... Is modeled on the human yeah! Similar to the pod I worked on, but its role is completely different. He's smart. Where is it being made? A research lab to the north. An AI who the fuck? Dr. Oh. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> you can see Hal or Huey in the background. Dr. Strange Thug. From the States, too. In the field of AI, there's no one better, that's for sure. But man, what a basket case. Rob Zombie looking she ass. Everybody. <laughs> Just Go you, actually. Destroy Peace Walker's cerebrum. Thank God. I'm sure they haven't finished the final calibrations yet. More combat. I'll lend you my ID card. Oh. It'll get you through security at the lab. Yeah. Oh. Gotta you commit a containment breach, dude. What's this? A letter of recommendation. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> it's from me to Dr. Strange. Don't read it, okay? <laughs> Blushes. So what will you do now? I... I'm done with science. At this rate, I'm probably already halfway to hell anyway. 
Not so fast. Why not join us? Ah. Our place is outer heaven. <laughs> nice, nice reference. Yeah. Ah. I'm probably better suited to something like that than this paradise. Good. You get a free balloon trip. <laughs> Enjoy it. You'll feel like what a good salesman. <laughs> You're an agent, right? Who do you work for? Ah. I was a Cold War tool, same as you. Now I'm not so useful anymore, so they cut me loose. I don't answer to anyone. Cold War tool. Me snake. I love the band Tool. That name seems familiar somehow. Yeah, this is the snake of MMO Isekai. Isekai. Deja vu. See those ruins? Yeah. No. That's where you'll find Doctor Strange Love's lab. She's in the pyramid. Okay, bro. <laughs> who names and who takes the last name Strange Love? <laughs> That feel real weird. We got a C rank, that's fine. Hey, support marker rank too, though. Chaff grenades? NVGs? Okay. Sweet. We haven't had a night mission yet, though. You're safe here with us. Huey, how are you feeling? Never better. This is quite the pad you've got here, boss. Ah, uh, thanks. Me snake. Whatever you say. Like it or not, everyone here calls you boss. He looks like he's in pain. By the way, <laughs> if you're at all interested in improving your tech, by all means, assign me to the R&D No, you're going to the combat. Sure I'll be of some use. Nope. Once we have the necessary materials and blueprints, we can start work on that bipedal mech. <laughs> I appreciate it. Already. That. Are you sure you're okay with having your work used for war? I'm... Uh, I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help forward the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to... So we it. make Metal Gears. Huey style, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. Okay. I've been given my own frequency. What's your programming language? Doc. I'll do that. Uh, Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Nah, I think they're good. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave them be. Hey boss, you mind if we powwow for a sec? What's up? No. MSF brand rations. Actually, that sounds... <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Maybe time we started sending some of them uh, to other countries. The chemical burger. Dispatch of marks. How else are we gonna keep feeding the crew we have? Ah, uh, we finally unlocked this. Right. Okay. To deploy troops, select outer ops from the mother base menu. If it goes really well, we might even get new recruits, weapon design specs, or leads on new missions. PMC vehicles or large scale weapons in our arsenal as well. And if things don't go really well. Yeah. We could lose men. I won't try and force you. You're the one calling the shots here, boss. Oh, I'm gonna take a shot, all right. Okay, so we unlock the ability to send soldiers out, which is fan-fucking-tastic. That's not only gonna get us, like, crazy-ass upgrades, but it's kind of like a fun mini-game, too. Outer Ops. You can now deploy mercenary units to conflict zones, conflict zones, requesting your services. Deploy troops from the Outer Ops menu. Huey Lewis and the news join. Okay, we got the M1928A1. Large caliber submachine gun. Requires both hands to use, preventing the use of a shield, but it is both easy to handle and accurate. Smoke grenade rank 2. Uh, anything new here? Okay, R&D can increase time smoke is emitted. Nice. Got the ID card, rank 1. ID card received from Huey. Enables access to Strange Love's lab. Chaff grenades. Ah, uh, the throne support supply marker. I need to get that immediately. Rhinoceros ranked up, bluegill, lobster, nope, viper, mo flan, huh? Magpie, wagtail, Hideo Kojima, <laughs> and carp. Totally forgot we had Hideo Kojima. Uh, it kind of took me by surprise seeing him in there. Okay, like he requested, I'm going to stick him in R&D. He's good at it. Okay, we have the set marker, but I absolutely do not care about those now. Because we can throw out fucking supply markers. We don't have to place them anymore. Oh, you can select multiple and move them. Interesting. So let's absolutely uh, go in here and research... Oh, we get upgraded rations, too. I totally missed that. 
Upgraded Fulton system, absolutely. That's gonna give us more. I'll hold off on the night vision goggles. I'm not sure if I need them just yet. This doesn't tell me what it upgrades. What? I'm confused, where is this? Oh, it's in weapons, duh. Yeah, there it is. Mmm, chaff grenades could be good later on, and they're kinda cheap. I should definitely take those. We take those, and there's the supply marker thrown. This thing's fucking awesome. Saves a lot of time, and it can get you out of tricky situations. Let's look at mechs. Do I have anything else here? Just the T-72U? Well, it do be looking nice. Well, let's go and do some extra ops really quick. Or outer ops. I do want to do extra ops too, though. Do I, no, I don't want the tutorial. I've already done this. Dispatch. So we have destroy inf infantry units, E-class, and then D-class. I'm going to start with D-class. What? Oh, that's right. I have to manually set this up. Okay, so I think people can die in this minigame. I'm not totally sure, but I do want to send out some of my stronger boys. And I also want to train doing this. So, I think I'm going to take, like, some average dudes. Probably just a full squadron of eight guys so they can all, you know, get a bit of experience. And then later on I can sort of make Team Bravo or something, you know? The tank would be helpful, but right now there's no point. It's gonna take just a little bit of damage over time, I think. And we don't necessarily want that just yet. I mean, these are really easy infantry units. So I'm just stacking up my squad right now so that... We can basically rob them of their goods and services. <laughs> That's essentially what Outer Ops mode is. But this is, like, excellent training for if you want to do weird challenge runs or something, too. If you have a certain character you like that isn't Snake or, you know, any other main character, I don't know. Maybe you stick What's-Her-Name in here. Yeah, it can be good training for, like, uh, I don't know, basically leveling up to beat later ops as custom characters or something. But anyway, let's do this. Dispatch team. Alright, we've got a team out on E. Um, let's, like, just do this for fun. How about that? And just stack some good guys in here. Because we we might as well level up some stronger dudes as, also, in addition to this. I know I just said I'll come back to it, but... You really want to do these. I forget all the stuff this unlocks, but you get some decent... At least, uh... Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, spoilers. You know how I picked up this tank from that one mission? I'm pretty sure you can go back to it and get another tank. You can get tanks from this, too. I mean, later on we're gonna be getting more stuff to deploy, so it's not just tank vehicles, I guarantee that. Alright, that's fine. I'll just leave one open so I can come back to it later. Okay, uh, did I research everything I wanted to? Snipers. Most in the gaunt at... Uh, what do I need? Level 27 in R&D. I still have quite a bit of GMP, so maybe I can juggle some dudes around? I'm at 140 food as well. Who's really good at combat over here? I'm not combat, I need R&D. What am I thinking? The second I said that, I was like, wait, that's not right. Okay, Hyrax. You go to... Good thing I said his name so I can remember it. Hyrax. He's powerful. Interesting. You go to R&D team. Nice. Uh, yeah, I need to research this completely, so... I think taking from Mess Hall ain't a bad idea. They're not gonna suffer. And if I recruit more people and we need more food, I can 
I guarantee some of the people I catch are gonna be really good anyway. Tiger Shark, a three-star chef. Boss, MSF is more than just you. Don't forget it. Step on your right foot, don't forget it. Now bring it around town. Around town. Bring it around town. This guy's also a three-star chef. Oh, I looped around. That's what happened. What about medical team? <gasps> oh my fuck, I just realized. I think I'm just in time. Where the hell was she? Combat unit, I think? Amanda. Yes. You go to fucking medical. Or sick bay. I guarantee she is like at 96% sickness or something. Oh my god, 99? I maxed her out. I don't know if this is gonna help. But let's try. Why is Mallard in here? Okay. I don't know how it works. I guess, like, maybe you just need a really high-level medical unit to take down medical damage? I'm not totally sure. Totally, dude. Uh, intel team might need to do some trading around. Nope, just Chico. Chico. Medical... That is equivalent. Hmm, this guy's really good. I guess the former prisoners are pretty damn decent. A lot of these people aren't good at research. You know what, Civet Cat? R&D team. M1911 A1 rank 2. Twin Barrel Shotgun rank 2. Mosin the Gaunt rank 2. Walkman rank 2, what? Are there more songs on the playlist than I thought? Huh. Thresher Shark. What a badass name. We still got enough, you know, staff in the cafe. We can afford to move someone decent over. Like, uh, it's not enough, but... Someone's gotta be, you know, at least slightly better. The whole gamut here is just master chefs. Okay, what about combat unit? I can spare some money if somebody here is really good at repair. Not repair. Research. Damn it, Viper's out on the outer op. <laughs> that would have been perfect. That would have just like pushed me over into 27. Piranha. You were also. What the fuck? Flamingo? Okay, this guy's free. That's pretty good. I lost GMP for that, but it, that's totally fine. Hideo Kojima? I forgot I put him in the combat. That's gonna push me out. Oh, I'm... What? I'm 27 already. What? Now I'm level 28? The Sleepy Mose and the God. That's 29k. I can't even afford that right now. We got a lot of upgrades just doing that. C4, Solid Magazine, Strike Marker. Interesting, I get that now. Um... I guess we go for the Nagant. What am I missing here? I was literally doing this for a reason. I mean, I absolutely want the Walkman upgrade. Huh? I'm going full brainlet mode. Okay, uh, I guess we research the Nagant, because I literally forgot what I was even moving people around for. Yes, that's fine. Just because we're in the red doesn't mean something bad's gonna happen, I just gotta recruit more dudes. I almost called them idiots, but they're my employees. I can't degrade them. Travel to the Cloud Forest. What do we have for extra ops? I don't really want to do a target practice yet. Yeah. Target demolition? Hmm. Our vehicle battle, this is an optional vehicle battle, which I absolutely love. Let's travel to the Cloud Forest. Head north towards central Heredia. 
where Dr. Strangelove's lab lies hidden among Mayan ruins. Snake, Peace Walker is the heart of the enemy's project. To prevent its completion, you'll need to either shut down or destroy the artificial intelligence that functions as its brain. Thanks for the but tutorial. Huey, that AI is now undergoing final calibrations in Strangelove's lab. It's inside a tropical cloud forest. Slip in and terminate that AI before they ship it out. Ah, so it's in the bug mode. I see. Um, okay, I did still have C4. <laughs> I totally didn't even use it in that last boss battle. I do want to take off the RPG too. Put the Moe's and the God back on. Give me the Hush Puppy back. I don't think I need both tortilla chips and curry. Uh, you know what, I'll keep the Doritos for the meme. Like I said earlier, they basically heal the same amount, you just get more of one which heals less, etc. I do need Huey's ID card. Cannot forget that. I have the binoculars, but I most likely need the analyzer. So fuck the camera. And it's rank 2 analyzer, very nice. Uh, this is gonna be the last time we have the deployable supply launch marker, but that's fine. Yes, the supply launcher. Supply, I say. It's a t-shirt launcher converted to fire rations at people. Oi, mate. You got un a license for them supplies? The Phantom Hero, Chapter 2. Ah. This is only Chapter 2? Nice. November 19, 1974. How's the mule treating you? Uh, at this pace, I should be there by tomorrow morning. <laughs> He's so You're angry. Hurry. The AI could be completed any time now. Uh. Guide. Already on it. I've enlisted Pass to help you. She knows the jungle pretty well. Snake and horses. I know you are an expert in survival, but you need to stay alert. You are in an ancient jungle so foggy, you can hardly see the trees. It is home to 2,500 species of plants. Including 400 types of orchids. There are also 500 species of butterflies and over 400 species of wild birds. <laughs> the bedrock is so okay. Thanks, Google. That Mayan ruins have miraculously <laughs> survived centuries of earthquake. Uh, an AI lab in a Mayan ruin. Sounds like Goldeneye again. My sentiments exactly. That doesn't mean security is any less tight, though. You still have the ID card I gave you, don't you? Got it right here. Oh now fuck. <laughs> After that, what if I forgot? <laughs> as long as the AI remains unassembled, Coldman's plans on ice. Whoa, nice pun, bro. Security inside the lab. Well, mm, tasty fish. Strange love fish. That the security presence inside the lab be kept to a minimum. It's mm. not all good news, Snake. Coldman knows we're here. He's raised security in the areas uh. surrounding the lab. You'll be seeing a lot of that chrysalis UAV, <laughs> and a bunch of patrol choppers too. Who the fuck is this beast man? <laughs> lying in ambush. As you approach the lab, be extra vigilant. I'll be careful. <sighs> Tasty Fimch. Oh, is that the Metal Gear? What the heckers? Oh no. I'm gonna get unmanned aerial vehicle sniped. What was that noise? Horms. It was just am horms. This feels like MGS3. I mean, there's so many references to MGS3, it fits. But that cutscene in particular felt a lot like it. Thing flies above head. You look into distance after releasing an horse. All right, finally we're playing an actual mission, not just a boss fight. I see. Thanks for the tip. Holy fuck, he sounds mad. You better fucking go to the lab right now, dude. Okay, I don't really remember this mission too well, but I do remember everything after that boss battle being the most fun in this entire game, so we're gonna have some fun. 
Yeah, can you get Huey off of comms immediately, dude? He's a little too annoying. He's been babbling in my ear about police nuts. I think that was released in 1980s. This is 1974. I don't know what he's talking about. Time traveling snake. Where? I don't see him. What, there's two of you idiots? Come here. Come here. I think they're too dumb to climb. Oh, they're coming. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love that I got stuck running into a wall. That was great. Oh! He reversaled me. Fuck off, dude. You're my prey. <laughs> Do a big jump. Wow, that was... You know what? It's... It happened so commonly, of course, I got discovered instantly. What? He keeps getting the reversal on me. This ain't wrestling, dude. Get fucked. All of you. Ugh. They all have garrot wire. What is happening? I gotta pull out fucking strats? <laughs> Fuck off, all of you. No! What the fuck? I can't even pull out the fucking stun rod for this one. No! <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Will you guys let me fight you fairly? One on one, man. Wow, I actually died that hard. I could not heal fast enough. That was impressive. That, that was hilariously bad. Wow, I didn't expect four of them to all gang up on me in like a squad. That was great. All right, well, at least I know where that first guy is now. They'll be nearly impossible to see. Nearly impossible, keyword. Is that a... No, those are god rays, which still looks nice. I thought that was a rainbow over there. Where am this guy is? I don't know why I'm doing, like, dreams. All right, I'm gonna dome him. I think he'll notice, but he's only gonna go into alert phase, if anything. Ah, uh, get domed. Now with this, it makes sense to reload every shot, because you're just hiding. But whatever I got, like an M16, and I keep reloading every three seconds? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? God damn it, he did it to me again! This is not fair! Stop doing that. I'm trying to punch him, and the game's making me CQ CQC him. CQC. Go. Return to my home. Country roads. Eat the Doritos. Doritos chip in chat. I used to be a soldier like you, then I took a tranquilizer to the knee. Outdated joke. Please do not shoot me while I'm doing this. I said do not. Holy fuck. How are one? You take one of them away from the rest of them and more of them show up. How's there this many guys? What's going on here, huh? What are you doing, game? Just lay into them. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Fall asleep. Yes. I feel validated. What's going on, Snake? Report. What's your situation? Just taking a nap. Smile. Snake. Just taking a nap. Smile. Well, now we know. Snake is not actually professionally trained. He learned all of his moves off of TV. Yeah, that's right. 
I went to college. Oh, what, what'd you take? What was your major? Uh, I majored in television. <laughs> Imagine that fucking guy. No, you know what? That's the dude. The fucking meme of the guy who was the dorm mate of this other guy. Like, the dude telling the story has this dorm mate. This guy had this dorm mate in college, and it was kind of a prestigious college. They paid, you know, quite a bit to get in. Not a lot, but, you know, a few ten grand. And his dorm mate would do nothing but watch that 70s show every day. Until he got, you know, until the school, you know, whatever that fucking word is, they got rid of him. I guess the story was the guy showed up for a couple of classes because they, I think they had a similar class or something, so that was his evidence that he knew for sure the guy wasn't going to class. And yeah, he would just stay in the dorm and watch that 70s show for like 12 hours. I get it, it's a good show. And like someone from Wisconsin, I can kind of rep it too. Get fucked. But after a certain point, I, like, and I know college can be demotivating, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. At a certain fucking point, you gotta go, wow, I'm kinda bored of watching that 70s show. Maybe I should watch something else. Maybe put on some Star Trek or something. But no, this guy just didn't go to class and watch that 70s show. Maybe he should have taken a college course in that 70s show. Never think about it like that, huh? What? Huh? What was that about? Can't be imagining this. <laughs> it was just a bumblebee, dude. Leave him alone. There we go. You know what? The auto lock-on is helping here. It makes it a little less frustrating. And like I said, it's still skill-based at a really decent distance. So I don't really care about it. Hey, there's more homies for the home base. Are there really only just, like, two guys out here and four of them show up for funsies or something? I hope so. Let me go grab these anesthetics really quick. This is gonna be nice. Ah, I take my anesthesia with me into the the spa. It helps me relax. That, that sounds like a fucking arrowid ketamine drip report or some shit. I take my horse tranquilizer with me to the spa. Ah, keeps me nice and calm. Then they give me a massage. You think you think Snake on his downtime takes his Mark 22 hush puppy and tranquilizes himself? I bet. I bet. <gasps> it's the enemy. Huh? What was that noise? It's the enemy. Hey, that was good practice. Thanks, game. Fuck it. You don't, you don't see anything. Trust me. Source bro, just trust me. How? What? It, it's like I let go of the aiming reticule and it changes from a headshot locked on to just a general attack. <laughs> I like the way he toppled over. That was good. I should be analyzing when I can. But I don't know, I have a lot of Fultons already, so who knows. Uh, that's some good ass. He is Intel Aptitude. Ooh, I like how the scanner tells you what they have on them. You know what, I didn't think about that whenever I saw the Lime Soda that one time. I was just like, oh cool, he has a Lime Soda, I'm gonna get that when he goes back to Mother Base. But I could've tap-tapped him. I could have obtained the item that I saw. I totally didn't think of that as his obtainable inventory. I just saw it as some shit that's in his backpack or something. Hey, he's got a Mato class katana in there, dude. I gotta take it back to Mother Base. To be fair, I think that unlocks the research for Lime Soda if you get it early. Same with a lot of other stuff, so... I gotta do it. <laughs> I 
I'm just remind reminded of Scrubs for some reason. Like I went down a whole thought train of logic. I was like, Michael J. Fox's performance in Scrubs. Make Michael J. Fox, OCD doing shit, Parkinson's, and then it just went back to Scrubs. So that whole headshot was Scrubs. There you go. Nice Scrubs headshot. Google Images transparent PNG. That's right, I photoshopped scrubs in my spare time. What you gonna do about it? You know, I'm no snaky man. <laughs> Gotta stop riffing on TV show songs. It sounds weird. You didn't see anything. That flying thing, that was just a butterfly. It, you're hallucinating out here. What the fuck? Oh, it's just a vine. Must have been the vines. No one's there. You. I'm <laughs> gonna do this to fuck with them. Cause this is unsuppressed. This is good marksman training too. Yeah, where was that? Huh. I can't believe I heard something. What? Where? Where? Oh, this? Right here? You think that shit's gonna get me? Damn, I should've pulled out the sniper rifle last time this happened. Ooh, get body shot. Ooh, headshot. I'm gonna fall back a little bit. We are in an alert phase, which is nice. Okay, I thought they were cycling, circling around. First cycle, dude. Okay, they're entirely too close. I gotta... Shoot him in the dick, snake! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh, I'm so good! Look at these sick dodge rolls! <laughs> yeah! Beat the shit out of him! Now take him! Kidnap that fucker! Kidnap him all! I gotta watch out for that suppressor durability. I kept calling it suppressor damage the last time, last few times I played this. I mean, I guess it's damage to it, but it's also durability. Is that a prisoner? Okay, yeah, it looked real weird from a distance. I don't know what I was seeing. Fucking yellow elephants or something. Need this. <laughs> Stop taking ketamine. <laughs> Snake? Variation of jungle fatigues camouflage. Said to raise camo index in a certain environment, but where it remains a mystery. Wow. Snake took ketamine and found himself. <laughs> okay, the fucking drug jokes. Jump. Yeah. Dodge roll through the load barrier. Sounds like a fucking metal band or something. Hey, what's up? This is our first show. We're dodge rolling through the load barrier. And they got like some font that's completely unreadable on their album cover. It looks like it's just <laughs> the roots of an oak tree. <laughs> I love that joke, even though I love metal bands. You know, even the ones that do that. Okay, I think this is the helicopter fight. Ah, the butterfly I came for. Yeah. I knew it was coming eventually. What the fuck? A hind D. Ah. Ah. MI-24A, general purpose attack helicopter. It's what I sexually identify as. Just had to pull that fucking stupid ass joke. Well, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not a big fan of this boss fight coming up, but it's still interesting. And <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid coming out of my mouth, but this is the first mission in this game where I was like, this game kind of plays like Dark Souls. <laughs> Falling words can now be infused with heroic spirit, taking it slow. Ballistic shield design. Nice. Naked snake. Ah. 
All right. Thanks for putting me on the R&D team. You're welcome, dude. To Promoted. We've commenced development on our own bipedal weapon. Metal Gear? The only thing <sighs> is we don't exactly have easy access to resources here. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have the budget of a defense department behind us. Yeah, we need human resources. That's why I want to ask you something. If you fight any more AI weapons, could you try to gather as many of their parts as you can? Yeah. That would really make things go a lot smoother. Yeah. Easier said than done. I mean, it just looks like SCS high drives. You single-handedly took out the pupa. True. Just fucking AI cores and limbs. Don't remind me who's the boss. But I'll think about it. Great. Also, each AI weapon has a head part that serves as the Yeah, that's what we just did. Oh, he means the whole unit. Okay. Yeah, he's right. Alright. Don't worry. I'm not about to risk my life for a bunch of scrap. I don't think he wants to hear that. <laughs> Metal Gear. Good point. We can't keep calling it our bipedal weapon. No, keep it, call it that. Wow. <laughs> Metal Gear. What? Zeke. It's a name the U.S. military gave to Japanese aircraft that flew during World War II. Zeke was the Japanese Navy's best fighter. Ah. So are you okay with that, Snake? Sure. Do it. Do it up, big. So we need a fucking Metal Gear. With Metal Gear, MSF can achieve true independence. Uh, independence. All right, Metal Gear Zeke. It's in development, and it looks like all. It looks exactly like the fucking Metal Gear we saw in the document specification, for good reason. All right, back to Mother Base. Mama! Metal Gear. Bipedal tank is now ready for development from the Metal Gear menu. So yeah, you make your own Metal Gear in this fucking game. Ballistic Shield Rank 1. Ready for development. Ranked up. I guess these guys finish their op. Terminating combat operations. Combat operations for the dispatch unit have ended. Maybe recalled. Don't have enough GMP. Sure. Who cares? All right, nice. Well, we can develop Metal Gear Zeke, but it's uh... no. I don't want dev tutorial. We can't really do much just yet. This just sort of uh, shows you what you'll be able to do soon enough. Okay, does that make sense? But it's a very cool menu. <laughs> Metal Gear Zeke is not complete. All main parts must be set. So we don't really have any Metal Gear parts, unfortunately. But we will get them. You know I said something earlier about obtaining... Weapons? Vehicles? Equipment? Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge? Team Alpha has returned. Well, yeah, let's, sure, let's view the dispatch results for now, I guess. So you can view this as a battle if you want to, or you can just skip them. But each, every single combat encounter has its own cutscene if you would like it to. Which is this. Not like an actual cutscene, but you know what I mean. So the problem with this, I don't know if you can give your soldiers specifically surprise Specifically, um... Non-lethal weapons? I could be wrong, maybe you have to put them in the combat unit, go customize their equipment, and then they can pull one out. But I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Cardboard box, tank, rank 1. Combat ready love box. Player 1 serves as driver, player 2 as gunner. Press R to go into first person view and square the fire. It's an actual fucking tank box. The thing is not a joke, you can do that shit. Alright. Beta team. They did their work as well. We're ranking up pretty good. Stunbox. This is pretty fucking cool, too. 
Unfortunately, you need to have another player for this. I don't think you can switch who's the gunner. You know, like I said earlier, who's the boss, who's the gunner? <laughs> Dumb joke. I don't think I've ever watched who's the boss. Or maybe I've seen it in passing, but I haven't actively watched it. So, I think for now, we're just gonna do some extra ops. I think that is the best course of action right now, because we got, like, a big-ass thing coming up. That helicopter fight. And it's gonna be hard. That's kind of why I don't like it. But it's not too bad. Alright, target demolition. Alright. Absolutely. No, I'm, it's a death sentence mission, dude. Wait, I can bring Snake along? Really? Really? Oh shit! Okay. Huh. I thought he was banned from all extra apps. Weird. Neat. Well, this should be fairly easy. We've already done this several times now. But we have an objective to detonate explosives. And I'm sure there's gonna be people to recruit. Oh yeah. Destroy the enemy supplies. So it looks like a rebel faction is trying to take this back over from us. <laughs> you didn't actually see anybody though, idiot. Enemy attacking? Going to alert status. Whoa! How'd you sneak up on me like that? He's gonna faint. I gotta chase him down. No reinforcements, that's good. I might low ro run low on time, but that's fine. Time penalty is okay. Get fainted. He's gonna try and kick my ass? You wish? Alright, kidnap this guy. Take him back to Mother Base. He's mine now. This guy's gotta be sleepy from that topple. Whoa! What the fuck was that? I tried to get him and I got thrown over. Alright, this is perfect opportunity to switch weapons, maybe reload a bit. I think I'm gonna go ration. Oh yeah, he's on the turret. Fuck. I should probably be crouching just for better accuracy. Oh yeah, you think that move's gonna get me? Oh! Get him in the dick! Damn it! How do I keep missing? Holy fuck. He's gonna come in here soon if I don't hit him. Okay, there we go. Okay, I was gonna manually heal, but they're too close. If I'm in my menu and I get shot, I'm fucked. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, I got him. Take him! Who's screaming? <laughs> Calm down. Stop reloading! I need to pick this guy up. They're like firing to the music. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go this corner. Pre-aim. Ugh. What? You can't be zoomed in and, and heal rations? You're kidding me. Sorry, Paz, I'm dead. Ah, I bit the big one. No more peas. <laughs> I kind of sound like a fucking lizard when I do that. Like the, the deepest version of that fake snake voice. I really do sound like a snake. <laughs> okay, shot his helmet off. Can I get the... Hmm. I was gonna say the sway aim to this one, but no, he crouched down real quick. Oh, I see him. Fuck. I should alert him. Fuck, I thought I was gonna get him while he was alerted. Alert that, alert that. <laughs> Tricked ya. I probably do wanna... No, that's right. I was gonna say I probably wanna set them off so I get more units to recruit coming in here, but I forgot. Uh, they said they can't spare more units earlier. Okay, at least this one's fair game. Nobody knows I'm here. It, wh why am I on the ground floor? <laughs> Should be up here where it's way easier. Ugh. 
God damn it. I shot like right in between his armpit. There we go. 37.9k damage stack. Powerful sniper. He's gonna go pick him up, isn't he? This ain't Fortnite, boy! Got him once. If you got him once, you got him twice. If you got him twice, you got him thrice. Alright, there's only one dude left, I think. Fucker. Don't pick him up. I'm gonna kneecap you. Oh yeah, you think that's gonna work? Fucking dumbass. Look at that flip. I'm so efficient now. I say as I just stand there going into my inventory. Hey, we got some freebies. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna blast them down. What was that other guy? I gotta detonate explosives too. I'm completely forgetting about this. I don't care if you're phoning in HQ. Don't tell them anything. They said they can't spare anybody else. Well, you're fucked. Look at them. Sleeping on a job. Fucking SMH, bro. SMH my head, in fact. God damn. What will we pay you guys for, huh? Oh, he's real fucked up. <laughs> Is that it? I'm gonna put all of my C4 on this. Can I do that? <laughs> yes! We're gonna make this real special. Gonna see some fireworks tonight, Chad. <laughs> oh, it's maxed out at five. That's that's fine. Anybody else want to tussle with the muscle? I don't think so. All right, you know the thing. God, boom! Wait, fuck. <laughs> Where is that? Huh? Recovery. Are we gonna listen to Eminem? Huh. Oh, that is right in the middle of the uh, objective zone. Hey, nice. Yeah! First try, dude! <laughs> Only took two tries, I mean. <laughs> that was kind of a fast extra op. And I did have that extra op spare. Rank C. Hmm. By extra op, I mean the fucking most in the gun. <laughs> Even though it's not an AWP, I still wanted to make that reference. Probably fell on deaf ears. Like, what the fuck is an op, streamer? Chaff grenade rank one. Nice. Solidus magazine. Okay, we got some rank ups. Got some GMP back as well. Mmm. I think I'm good on upgrades just for now. I probably want to save some GMP just in case we get a really nice upgrade. Uh, maybe the M1C? Is that going to give us a better Mosin? It's at 5% development. God damn. What about the M19? It seems completely independent, in fact. I need level 42 R&D? Jeez. I think I'm gonna hold off on doing, um, outer ops for a minute. I wanna do some more extra ops. Yeah, 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 boss music. Let's see. Rescue Chico. Why am I in all ops? I mean to be an extra. Okay, we have an armored vehicle battle, maybe. I think I do want to do item capture. And, uh, hold on real quick. Just enjoy this Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker music. Just gotta hit up the bathroom real fast. BRB.
<sighs> All right, I'm back. Let's do this. Item capture. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good so the there. objective UC4 to UC4 charges to destroy the container and retrieve all items from the prison facility at Aldea Los Despiertos. Single player only. This should go nice and nice and smooth. It is the prisoner complex as well, so it kind of makes me wonder: Are we gonna get some easy new recruits here? I would hope so. Yeah, that's our objective. I wonder if we unlock more of these. This is kind of a fun game mode. I'm surprised the developer Hideo Kojima. I'm surprised they never added anything like endless mode or something, where you just get a random, you know, objective map, an extra op map that you spawn into, and you just have, like, random stuff to do. Like, go in and knock everyone out. And, like, maybe that would just speed up the gameplay late game or something. Like, the more, you know, shitty soldier fodder you capture from Mother Base in these endless missions, the more your guys rank up back at home or something. And then the ones you capture in the Endless, unless they're better than what you have, they just, you know, they go back home or something. Helicopter is complete. As it stands, that's kind of how the game plays, but there's no, like, game mode set up for it, you know? So it's like, if you want it to be a longer experience, you kind of gotta lengthen it out yourself. Aside from all the extra, extra ops that exist in general, but, uh... I mean, there's a lot this game has to offer. I ain't complaining. I just want more when I play this. <laughs> I want more of it as I am having it. Okay, there shouldn't be too many people out here. I mean, like like I said, this is an extra op. You got an extra op on you? Scare them into getting himself knocked out. Very nice. I think I'm just gonna do this first. Because if I detonate C4 on that stupid thing, I'm gonna end up regretting it. Somebody's gonna die in the process. I'm gonna say, God damn it, dude. Alright, let's blow this fucker up. At least one C4 detonation for every single side. It's gonna go down in a blaze of glory. Oh, that's right. I gotta grab all that shit. I love how the model of uh, the truck does not change at all, even though it technically explodes. We got some batteries. Ah, for my Walkman. <laughs> Imagine that. Like, nobody back at Mother Base is allowed to have batteries because Snake is bogarting all of them for his Walkman. I need it for my Walkman. And for the sick vape pen that Huey gave me. Yeah. 1974 vape pen. <laughs> you know what, though? I shouldn't say it like that. Kojima always comes up with wacky stuff that's like futuristic technology in the past. Hey! Hey, I got A rank! You've been awarded a new insignia, awarded for performing Fulton recoveries on over a hundred people. I'm rank C? <laughs> Damn, how many people can you extract? PKM design specs? Interesting, another uh, light machine gun. Cool. Back to Mother Base. Huh. Yeah, that thing looks light. I think the PKM is better than the M60 in this game as well. At least for fighting Metal Gears. Okay, R&D, how are we doing on that, uh, Mose and the Gaunt, by the way? I need to see it. 10%? Okay, the supply marker's coming up, though. I guess extra ops don't really count too much? Hmm. Either that, or it's just harder to research uh, more advanced equipment. Probably. Okay, we have the armored vehicle battle. 
I think I'm just gonna do all of our target practice and uh, whatever the other one was. I don't know if you have to do too much in these. I'm just gonna get them out of the way. Huh? <laughs> you can't use supply markers on this. What the fuck? Why would I care? Is there an exploit where you flood the entire building with supplies or something? What? Why, why does the game care? Is that just because it's kind of a smaller room? This is the first time we see Mother Base in game and in like a very long time. I swear, whenever you play MGS5, this exact area is pretty much in Mother Base, if I remember. I don't remember if you have to meet a certain goal here, it's just do whatever you want. Tch, that counted? Okay, it didn't. You gotta hit a body shot. That would have been a headshot if I had a little more lead time on my aiming. Nice. That counted? That was a fucking shoulder shot. Okay, whatever. Aw, oh, man. Am I getting points off or is it telling me what points I could have gotten? What's up? This is some interesting Metal Gear Solid music. Is this Persona music? My long distance game is okay. Yeah, me and her like long distance. She like goes to school in Canada. You wouldn't know. Y you wouldn't know her. Uh. Yeah, like don't look her up though. <laughs> yeah, bro. She just like totally lives in Canada. Fuck. You sly dog. You caught me monologuing. Oh man, I was gonna complain about how fast they're going too, but I got that one. Fuck. That counted. You're lying to me, referee. Fuck. Hostage situation, huh? Looks like we gotta do a hostage takeover takedown. Nope, never mind. I am too damn slow. Look at this rinky dink ass shooting range for this like sophisticated ass metal building. We are on a fucking boat in the ocean basically. Just a very large boat at that. Okay, this is the final boss of the shooting range. Did that hit? Okay, no, he went down. Get him down. That's right, cuff him. Now take him back to mother base. What am I doing? I feel like I should be sniping all of these. Line up the shot. Okay, don't line up the shot. That's fine. Man, I suck at like adjusting quickly, but I can at least hit the shot most of the time. That was not lined up properly. I knew it. Fuck. I almost got confused and shot the prisoner there. I'd be a bad agent of the law. Taking out all the hostages and giving the criminals the money. Somehow that hit. I think it was my movement adjustment that I did. I mean, this is kind of fun. It's just like, uh, kind of pointless, I guess. Am I done here? Can I just enter and exit and be done with this? I think I was there for like six minutes before I realized, oh wait, I can just leave. <laughs> Here I'm thinking I'm gonna get a final score or something, but oh my god. <laughs> Watch me get an A plus or some shit because I stuck around so long. Okay, no ranking. Here I am! I mean, if I can just walk into these and walk the fuck back out... Please, by all means. I think the sharpshooter missions, though, you absolutely have to do them. Time attack, score attack. Oh, that was just practice. Shooting range and kill house, okay. Marksmanship challenge, shoot all the targets in the supply facility in one minute. Yeah, so some eventually some of them get more challenging. As a special treat, you can practice freely on any of the targets in the kill house today. Shoot 
your heart out. When you're done, head over to the exit. Yeah, you're allowed to do this. I like how only one player is allowed to the kill house. I guess the map's too big. Yo! What was that intro? Sound like some mysterious ass ghost music. Am I required to? Because I don't think I want to. I'm just gonna run through it. <laughs> nah, you know what? I'm gonna take a, a loss, but that's fine. I kinda wanna do it. How many interlopers are in this room? Gotta save the hostages. I still feel like I'm not gonna be graded on this. No. I refuse. I mean, this is cool design, but it kind of almost feels pointless. The fact that they have so much of this. But this is the setup for MGS5. All of this design, I feel like they took a lot of these textures and moved it forward to the MGS5 engine. He wants me to move on to the next area, but it looks like there's so much I missed back there. Yeah, like a boss. Yep, I totally sequence broke somehow. I think it was me going forward and then turning around. Because there's way more than just that. Ah, kill house done. Wait, I can go up here? Is this it? I'm really confused now. Oh yeah, you can hang off ledges. Surprised I haven't done this a lot. Can I fall off? Like, on purpose? Okay, cool. Good engine. Slaps roof of engine. This bad boy can fit so many good engine optimizations into it. Yeah, let's just try and get these out of the way and see what unlocks, because I'm pretty sure you gotta do a lot of the practice missions before you get additional extra ops. So I think this will unlock some good stuff for us. Back to mission selector. Fission mailed. Okay, score attack. Shoot as many targets as you can in Mother Base's shooting range. Three minute time limit. Target practice commencing now. Shoot all the targets in the shooting range. I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Unlimited number of targets, so I guess this is a score attack, but you're not required to get a decent score. It's just for competitive, I suppose. Yo. It's like chase music. Okay, it's not the kill house. Thank God. That would be cool and interesting, but also really annoying. I think I'm going to go sniper rifle for this one. Because I can zoom in and out. Easier to hit shit with it, too. Oh, it quick scoped him, bro. Yeah. This is gonna be okay, I guess. I need to reload. Fuck. Damn it. I think this is better than trying to use the pistol. I'm just gonna have too tough of a time if I'm being challenged and have to do it, you know? So I might as well take whatever advantage I can. Zoom back out, suckin' fuck. You chuckle fucker. These ceiling things, do these give more points or something? Oh yeah, way more. I need to keep a lookout for those. Alright, I'm reloading! Cover me, I'm reloading! They call him the sharpshooter snake. Ugh. I'm getting like motion sickness. Not really, but it looks like it. I don't really get motion sickness with video games. It, I don't think it's really ever happened except for VR. And it wasn't me playing VR when it happened. It was watching someone else play. It was, uh, Res Infinite? It just looked really fucking disorienting. 
But I played another VR game myself, like with PlayStation 5 VR, or is it PS4 VR? I don't remember. It might be PS5, whatever. And it was fine. Yes, disorienting in the fact that it was my first time being in VR, but uh, it was nice. It was fun. I didn't feel sick or anything. I'd like a VR set myself, but they're so damn expensive. And I'd feel like it's such a waste, too, because... I used to like VR chat, but I feel like I really wouldn't care for it that much nowadays. So that's kind of off the table. And there's, like, some cool VR MMOs, but, like, do I really want to be sweating my head in a helmet for 12 hours a day? Alright, I have 5,600 points. I was gonna say I should probably just leave, but I forgot I was being timed. I have zero ammo now. Good thing I used the sniper early, I suppose. Okay, you know, getting a few more points. Not a lot, but enough. From Scout Sniper? <laughs> I was gonna say the Mouse Sniper, but this is Controller. Nice. Got the last one. 6,600 points. I guess this is just for getting records. I don't think you're actually being challenged. You can probably do 100 points and pass. Wow, Snake, that was some good training you did in there. I saw that you made one shoulder shot in three minutes. Nice. 100% accuracy. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. When you go to the shooting range, you gotta, like, take an accuracy test. Just fire one shot. Make sure you can make the shot, and then don't fire for the rest of your exam. It makes sense that this is a time attack, but it's also a score attack. Alright, 24 targets. Let's see if we can do this in 5 minutes flat. I have no problem seeing myself completing this easy. I used to run the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 kill house all the fucking time. There's that COD 4, I don't remember. I'm definitely keeping the Hush Puppy out for this one. It's all close range for the most part. I'm gonna go into crouch mode, though. Yo, what's up, homie? Fuck out of here. Ooh, that was a bad shot. Yeah, I definitely skipped last time. That was a headshot. Five hundo. Okay, whatever. Oh, I guess hitting the board still gets you points, but not a lot. Get out of your stalker. Fuck. Pre-firing ain't gonna help. There we go. This is not a semi-auto weapon. Oh, it kinda is, but not very much. Alright. Oh, I gotta climb up, that's right. I'm surprised I didn't do this correctly the first time, but now it's going swimmingly so far. Uh, I know what you're thinking, but no, I'm not going down the ladder. Why would I do that when I can do the much cooler thing? Huh? Is it because I didn't climb down the ladder? Come on, game. You should be smarter than that. Climb up the ladder and then climb down the ladder. You know what, I didn't even do that. I don't know where my next area is supposed to be, Miller. I have 16 remaining targets. How am I supposed to do this? I guess I just run in circles until it terminates? There's markers on the floor that tell me where to go, but I'm still missing them somehow. Oh, hey. Sup. Why did I have to backtrack for this? Anybody else? Wanna fuckle with me? Yeah, you. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've been practicing. No big deal. <laughs> this thing's been shooting squirrels out back. Or I guess since they're out in the middle of the ocean, it'd be like carps or something. I do have limited ammo on this. Surprisingly. You think I can't hit that? You got me fucked up. 
Okay, I did hit it, but I didn't hit the part I was aiming for. Yeah, that's fine. That's acceptable at that distance. Like I always say, dude. Mark 22 Hush Puppy is basically a fucking sniper rifle in this game. Especially if you headshot with it. God damn. Well, let me let me hard scope this one. Yeah? Five hundo. We're doing this to take out all the all the terrorists. It's gonna say all the T's, but <laughs> this is not specifically trouble in terrorist town. Yeah, this guy over here is acting sus. I got the DNA scare scanner on him. Says he's a T. Took him out. All right, no more suppressor. Am I gonna have to whip out the sniper rifle on this one? Oh, no, that's a... Eh, that was kind of average. It worked out. Hey, that was a lot nicer than I expected. Usually I expect kill houses to be relentless and punishing. That one's kind of okay. Doesn't have shit just disappearing permanently on you either. Rank B! Okay. That was one rank higher than what I expected. I got a Bren rank. It wants me to go back to Mother Base. It defaulted to it. Huh? We get something new over here? Ah, Bach. <laughs> we got the support supply marker thrown the rank too. Uh, I think this just gives you more supplies. I don't think there's anything else new to it. It might deploy a little faster or something, but it's already damn fast. Hey, I'm glad I got that. Fuck yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the item I was trying to obtain earlier, and I just totally blanked out on what it was. Marksmanship challenges? Anything else new? Not just yet. But it is kind of neat that we have these now. Commencing training mission. Missions like this are key to building up your basic skills. Yeah, you're right. I need to practice. That's why I'm gonna go around back and shoot all these squirrels in my backyard. And then we're gonna grill them up into chemical burgers. Fucking chemical burger meme. Okay, fucking based music time. Oh, okay. I didn't expect it to be like this. I will. Thanks for the recommendation. I get a time extension, nice. Excellent. I guess chest shot is good enough, and I'm assuming headshot is like plus 10 seconds. Just really didn't want to miss that one. Okay, you get a time extension dependent on where you've shot. Seven seconds on headshot, that's fine. I feel like approaching for a headshot is so much easier than lining up a body shot. From a distance, at least. Like, if they don't see you, too, you may as well go for a headshot. That was the neck, but I guess that counted as the chest. So I didn't miss. Good. Good enough. Oh, I had to loop around. Okay. I see. I have 55 seconds. I'm doing this kind of fast. That's it? Oh, hey. Nice. This is kind of neat. Okay. 30 seconds? So you finish with overtime. 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 Come on, keyboard. Yeah. Overtime. 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 Why the fuck can't I find it? I keep making this reference as I'm looking for it. It's nowhere to be found. Oh, I, I think I know what word I'm looking for. <laughs> really? I only find, like, all voice lines, not all overtime voice lines. Let me see if I can find this. Overtime. Overtime. Alert! 
Alert! The center control point is being captured. Vanda control. Where's overtime? I need some overtime. The payload is nearing a checkpoint. I think it's right after her. The control point is being captured. Her time announcement. Nine. Yeah. Time. <laughs> Here it is. Overtime. <laughs> overtime. Overtime. <laughs> overtime. <laughs> Secure. Security. Alert. Oh come on, that was it. Mission ends in ten seconds. Let me get the full overtime. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. One! You failed. Prepare for sudden death. You failed, stalemate. Failure. Alert. Our last control point is being captured. Alert. The final control point Alert. is being tested. Alert. Alert. Overtime. Overtime. <laughs> Overtime. Overtime. <laughs> Secure. Wow, there's not a lot of overtimes. I thought there was way more than that. Maybe, I'm probably remembering a video I saw where it was just all of the overtime voice lines looped over and over in the overtime. Yes, that's right. Not only did they loop the overtime voice sample, but they went into overtime looping the overtime voice samples. Fucking exactly. Ah. I get something else new with Mother Base, or is it just defaulting to it now? Fault and rank three. Okay. Parameters went up due to combat experience. My parameters. Will you check my parameters for me? Yeah, I just need to like get a gauge on my parameters. Math class IRL. Okay, let's do another marksmanship challenge. Missions like this are key to building up your basic. Like I said, I want to get these out of the way so we can get all missions. So we can eventually do the extra op with Monster Hunter Battle. It's real. It's confirmed. It's in the game. And Deo patched it in himself today, just for me. Why am I not bringing a Deo Kojima on these extra apps? I feel bad leaving him out now. Okay, I like this stage. <laughs> We're up on the roof. Do I have to move around for this one, or is it static? Well, I guess we're doing hush puppy sniping again. Didn't even have to adjust there, nice. Can I hit this one? Get a headshot, snake. Do it for Chico. For Amanda. For Huey. Yeah, that's right. Just had to say some mo words of motivation. Some modes of motivation to him. That's gonna hit. Yep. Yep. Open her on up. I was gonna say, this is diners, drive-ins, and dives, but no. That's completely not the reference I was making. I love that, though. Instead of eating food, Guy Fieri goes and opens up storage lockers. And Yup Guy goes and eats food and th makes it, too. Yep. I'm Guy Fieri. Welcome to... Garage doors, cellars, and grates. Alright. I love his stupid voice. He's such a great guy, though. But I love his fucking stupid voice. We're, today, we're gonna make some sausage bologna ham sandwiches. Alright. I can just say some crazy ass shit. In a stupid voice. <laughs> I really doubt he's like that in real life. He probably drives around this sports car in just like a fancy suit. And he's like, yeah. I don't have to alright right now. I can do whatever I want. Alright. Welcome to Diners Drive-Ins and Drive. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna say it sounds a little bit like Cartman, but now like, oh my god. Now that I think about it, the flame shirt, the kind of flabby fat guy. The dude obsessed with food? I think Guy Fieri is literally grown-up Eric Cartman. Somebody's gonna have to take me out. I figured out the code. I, I broke into the Matrix. <laughs> okay, we just got one more of these? Alright, let's do it. Mission. Like 
like this are key to building up your basic skills. Two minute time limit. But this is on the kind of harder one. So this should be fun. Let's check it out. <laughs> Just love that the song I was playing earlier was Steel Beowulf. Metal Snake. Alright, this one should be fun. Oh, they're moving targets, eh? What, I missed that? Get back here. I am is Snakeo Montoya. You have killed my father. Prepare to die. Dark Souls death sound effect. Okay, somehow I got his hand with that scuffed ass movement. That missed? Oh, I missed. Who did that? I think it was Joel. He, like, recorded himself making a really weird voice on one of his streams. Oh, it was Vine Worlds. <laughs> and he... It, <laughs> at first, it doesn't really sound like much. It's like, oh, is that, like, a dumb fake Mario voice you're doing there? And then he puts it in a program and speeds it up. And I shit you not, it sounds exactly like Yoshi. He says something like, Blau him. Ow, wow, 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 wow. And then he speeds it up, and it... <laughs> it sounds fucking exactly like Yoshi. Like, wh how did you brain this? How did you reach this point into your mind brain head? That you're capable of thought thinking this? You know what I'm saying? It was just real huge brain... Giga forehead, you know? It was almost five head. That was a sick roll. I hear it. I don't know where the fuck it is, though. Oh, there it is. It was hiding from me. Hey, you know of any uh, traders in here? You seen anybody? Bro, sus. Target is... I caught Target venting. He's not doing tasks. Love that I'm losing time because I can't find these. Do I gotta blow up the barrier? No, it's completely gone. Okay, nobody's over here. Good thing I checked, though. You can hear them, which is helpful, but I still have no fucking clue where he is. 30 seconds left, Snake. Can you do it? That was an arm shot. Now that's what I'm about. Yeah. I think I'm gonna miss this one and run out of time, guys. Okay, time extension. Thank you very much. For a split second, I forgot about it, and I was like, oh, fuck. I'm not gonna have enough time to get back. back yeah. This one's for the ones back at home. x Rob's 007. Huh. James Bond Metal Gear mashup. I'm surprised that hasn't happened. I'm... <laughs> I'm sure whoever owns the rights to James Bond probably fucking hates Metal Gear Solid. Like, wow, what's this fucking fantasy Japanese mecha shit? Ugh, I like my Englishman sips tea uh, MI6 agent shit. What the fuck? Alright, but that's gonna do it for me today for Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker non-lethal run. It's been kind of a bit of a challenge, but it's also been very fun. So I want to thank you very much for stopping by watching me play this. It's been, you know, like I just said, very fun. And, uh, yeah, before you go, click the About section on Twitch. Go ahead and drop a follow on the Twitch channel. Click the two YouTube channels in the About section. Go give them a subscribe. Also, quick, click the Twitter over there. Quick the Twitter. <laughs> follow the Twitter and join the Discord channel. We'd love to, you know, just chat with you, have you share your memes, etc. And you get updates on when I go live, you see stream vods instantly after they're uploaded over there etc etc so yeah like i said thank you very much for watching and peace i'll catch you up in the next one see ya